So today we are here and I have my fancy pool gear right here because my niece has volunteered after a pool swimming day to have her work taken off. And we're gonna show you how to take care of this at home using stuff you could use at home. Just kidding, don't really use this. This is very dangerous at home, but we will take care of that work. So my uh, wife's brother and his family is visiting and their daughter, who is my niece, has developed a foot wart. So today we went to the pool and they asked me to take care of it. So this is a special home edition where we will take care of this. Now warts are really tough to take care of. They're caused by a virus. Uh, which is called HPV. Now HPV is a virus, so it's something that's a little bit more difficult to take care of. It's not like a pimple that you can pop. Realistically, this can take months or years to incubate. So you could have caught this wart even years ago. So don't blame your brother or sister in the shower. You could have caught it anywhere. It's very difficult. tape works really well at home to protect it from spreading it but really there's many many different cures and when there's many different cures that means nothing works perfectly try googling wart cures there's a hundred different solutions out there that means none of them work really well some studies that you can look up realistically within six months most of these have about 80% success rate, but I'm gonna show you my favorite techniques to take care of these warts. So what this includes is we trim it down, we apply some acid to it, then long-term we apply some duct tape and some uh, salicylic acid creams to this. I've had best success with this, but when people come in to see us, the tough part is some people have immune conditions. Some people, it goes away in a couple weeks. Some people, it can take years and they might need surgery to have it removed. So not every solution is for everybody. So the camera is a little bit blurry here, but you can see the wart right there. We're coating it with betadine and now starting to trim. So this is number 15 blade. No pain is being felt here because my niece admits to being a little baby and she is feeling zero pain here. You can see she's not squirming around. Nothing's really hurting there because there's a big thick callus covering that wart site. That means as I'm trimming away, there is a little bit of redness that appears there, but that's the blood supply to the wart. That's not the skin that's bleeding. Zero pain currently being felt here. So right now I'm applying highly concentrated trichloroacetic acid. So that's a little bit stronger than you can get at the store. And we're applying it right to the wart site. So it's a small little wart, you can barely see it, but see that stops the bleeding right there. So with the bleeding stopped, I can clean it up again. That lets me visualize it again. And just a little bit more cleaning right there. And we can trim away even more of that surrounding callus. Right now we've shelled out about 75% of that wart at least. So we're getting right to the root. You can see if we had started just buying the over-the-counter creams, you would just be attacking the outside callus that's protecting it. So we can apply a little bit more to the root. So after we stopped it, that wart uh, is now more visible and you can see that we've shelled it out out of the cavity. That's almost excising, I would say 75, 80%. Right here, this is a topical salicylic ointment container right here. So it's a little bit lower strength. Any residual callus or protection over this wart site, I like to put that on there. And then lastly, duct tape right here. I love that because it's better than the Band-Aid. It sticks great to the bottom of the foot. It compacts down. You barely feel anything after applying all that. So usually I do this and we wait a couple of weeks you can change that duct tape 
every couple days or every day and it will turn off and pull off the dead dry skin. So that was a great trimming, but here's what you gotta remember is these don't work for everybody. For most people, we have a success within a few rounds of treatment. So every couple of weeks they come back and we redo that and it goes away pretty quickly. Even in the first appointment, we can get it to go away about 60, 70, 80%. But in other people, it can take a very, very long time. I've had some patients where they've been treated by their dermatologist, us, other people for a year plus before we've finally done surgery to remove this wart. The downside is you're left with a big crater sized hole in your foot. So these are tough. The problem is nobody ever talks about these things. Everybody's embarrassed. So you think that it goes away quickly. So thanks for taking me seriously with all my swimming gear right here. But that's how you take care of warts at the pool. Mm -hmm.